long post edited for you guys here coming up after this brief intro, but I wanted to give you full disclosure and keep this short and sweet. So you have to spend the least amount of time listening to me figure out how to find the shutter actuations on the Canon 7D DSLR camera. Here is the one minute route on how to get there. First, go to EOS Inspector in the App Store. It's a buck 99. Buy it, install it, connect your 70 camera using a mini USB cable. Turn the camera on, open the inspector, and boom. There's your shutter actuations. Cost you a buck 99, and it takes about a minute. Maybe, maybe two. Hope that was helpful. If you want to see how I got to this stage, then continue to watch. If not, shut it down. Go find your actuations, and uh, thanks for watching. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Today I am going to attempt to find the number of shutter actuations on my Canon 7D camera. I'm planning on getting a drone, and which drone I decided to buy is yet to be disclosed, but in the meantime I decided to get rid of some extra camera gear in order to raise funds for it. So selling my Canon 7D and an old lens. And since I don't use this equipment anymore, I just figured it's time to get rid of it to raise some money. So the first thing is, is I've listed this and already people are asking me, what is the shutter count? Well, I.e. what is the number of shutter actuations? And this is something that I just don't know because if you are a user of Canon 7D, it's something that you just can't go through the menu and find immediately. So of course, uh, as we all do, I went immediately to reference the internet and uh, I found this gentleman here, David Dugdale. Hey buddy, how's it going? Um, thanks for this little reference on the site. He said if you're a Mac user, which I am, let's uh, go ahead and download this app and see if it works, okay? I spent a little bit of time online, obviously, reading about all the different things that you can do, and there is a way to download some software if you have Homebrew installed, yada, 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 um, but it seemed like maybe this perhaps is going to be a more time-efficient route. So at the Mac store, you go to EOS Inspector. I'm going to go ahead and purchase this for a buck ninety-nine. Next, you connect your Canon via USB. In this case, you need a mini USB connector cable. Boom. Well, this isn't good because nothing's happening. It is connected and the camera's on. Oh, side note, in reading the fine print, you have to have 10.9 or later. As it turns out, I have to upgrade my software. So, I'll be back. Software's downloading Sierra. Okay, new software is updated. Inspector. Turn this baby on. Let's see if this works. So I just tried connecting my 5D and it's still not working. So I'm beginning to think that this cable is faulty. Okay, so I found a new, brand new in package cable out of the 5D Mark II box that's you know been sitting in my closet for ages this is why you keep stuff all right fresh cable time cable connected camera on do something hey look at that it was the cable ha ah, our shutter count is only 13,000 I use this camera to shoot a ton of video so the person who wants to buy this camera is going to be extremely happy when they find out that this Canon 7D only has 13,000 shutter actuations because these cameras are rated for 150,000. How's that? In conclusion, if you're looking to get the shutter count or the shutter actuations on your uh, Canon DSLR, this is a super fast and easy way to do it. EOS Inspector, $2 for the app, super fast to download. And of course, um, I'm not really sure if I had to actually update my software or if it was just the, the faulty cable all along. But um, yeah, if it weren't for those things, it literally would have taken 30 seconds to get all this done. Hope you guys liked that post and thanks again for watching and uh, we'll be posting again real soon. OPS tried it out on the 5D Mark II. Worked awesome. Super simple, takes just seconds.